Hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. This time we're going to be taking a look at a molecule called coneine. Coneine is a very toxic compound that can be found in the plant called hemlock and it actually falls into the classification of chemical substances called alkaloids. Now this might not seem like it relates to your A-level in chemistry but very very often and more and more these days we're seeing that examiners are using real world structures in chemistry exams rather than just your bog standard propyl and butyl chain structures. So it's important for you to be able to research larger chemical structures such as alkaloids for instance like the coneine I'll discuss in this video and see how they can be incorporated into your everyday organic chemistry revision. So let's take a closer look at the structure of coneine and see how it relates to second year organic chemistry. All right, so first off, it's got a secondary amine group. Don't forget that a secondary amine is when we have a nitrogen atom bonded to two R groups or two alkyl carbon containing groups and then one nitrogen. So that's only three bonds to the nitrogen, leaving it with a lone pair as well. Remember that that lone pair allows the nitrogen to accept a proton, making it a base. We also have a chiral center on our molecule. Now, a chiral center is when a carbon atom is bonded to at least four different atoms or groups. And even better, this chiral center is an example of one which is on an unsymmetrical allocyclic ring. Now, these are quite difficult to spot when shown in skeletal formula, and I've got a separate tutorial video on just this type of chiral center if you'd like to look into this even further. Finally, for our coneine, it has eight different carbon environments, which means if I was to try and predict how many peaks it would show in a carbon-13 NMR spectrum, I should anticipate that it would have eight separate peaks. And you can see with a little extra sketch of the coneine that I've shown here, I can identify all of those peaks. And it does boil down to the fact that it's got that unsymmetrical ring, which is why it has this big boost to the number of peaks I should anticipate. Maybe try drawing out the coneine structure without having that complete symmetry. Maybe move the branching to the top and then take a look at how many peaks you would anticipate considering that change. I hope you enjoyed this look at coneine. If you'd like to consider other molecules that you could incorporate into your organic chemistry revision to help you prepare more effectively for those large structures that can come up on exams, check the video description down below and I'll put some other molecules in there that with a quick Google search, you'll be able to find exactly what you're looking for and you should be able to see how they can relate to the functional groups you encounter in organic chemistry. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and until next time, happy revising.